Last time we talked briefly about Pocket Base and then we set up a uh, pretty simple React project with uh, Tailwind. And we basically mentioned there are two ways you can host Pocket Base, either on the cloud, uh, by yourself, using um, Docker and FlyCTL. But we're not going to get into this uh, just because we want to keep it very simple and uh, we just want to keep the whole content about Pocket Base uh, itself. You can feel free to read this uh, GitHub discussion by uh, this guy right here. Uh, Ghani Georgiev right here, who's the creator of Pocket Base. He made a walkthrough on how to set up uh, Pocket Base, uh, deploy it to the cloud with Docker and Fly.io. So you can make sure, so you can check it out. However, for this project, we're going to use Pocket Host, which basically hosts hosts a uh, Pocket Base instance in the cloud for us right here. So all we, so it does all the uh, configurations, zero config process you know, takes like, what, 30 seconds, as you can see here, and I'm not biased, it, it is very simple and easy to set up. I already have an account right here, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to set up everything next time, so i just like to uh, point that out. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you a little walkthrough inside the admin UI, so you can click this live demo right here, which Pocket Base was very kind enough to offer us right here. And then you have the, uh, as you can see, this is a um, collection called users. A collection is essentially a table in uh, SQL databases, but SQLite is still SQL, but for, so, for whatever reason, Pocket Base likes to call it collections. As you can see, these are all the fields or records inside the users table right here. And then on the left, we have every single table uh, inside of, uh, we created in Pocket Base right here. So we have posts, as you can see right here, and then messages. Now you can, do a lot of things from within the admin. Admin, you know, I can edit the uh, records, delete, even even the entire uh, collection setup right here. So if I click on this cog icon, you can either add a new field, delete existing ones. But then of course you can do that uh, with pre-configured uh, like sample collections right here, understandably so. But yeah, as you can see right here, now the only thing uh, I like to point out here is that the ID, created date and update date are created by default by uh, Pocket Base. They're pre-configured so you can't delete them or do anything about it. The ID is, well, necessary obviously. Every record must have uh, an ID. Now I can also create a new record right here and basically anything with an asterisk right here uh, means that it is required. For example, let's see, uh, hello world post. In the description, I could say, uh, this is an example of a description inside a pocket base uh, collection. And uh, you have this active field, which uh, honestly, I have no idea. What, I don't know what it is. I'm going to mark it anyway. And then options, you have A, B, C. So these are like placeholders. You can only like select up to two. And then... Uh, you can upload any image. I'm going to click create. And there you go. It, it created everything for us. Now I could also delete records. So, so if I select right here, if I check this, it means we have highlighted this record. And you can select multiple records uh, at once and delete them. And cl click delete. Now if you want to, you can create an entirely new collection. I'm going to show you right here. So for example, we're going to create a product collection new field and yes there's going to be a plain text and you have a rich editor so this is very useful uh as you saw with the uh, description field right here it's useful when you have like very long uh, pieces of text and it will not fit inside plain text obviously because there are limitations anyway we're going to give this a name and and this is a required value so it's not empty and then we're going to create another field right here for the product price so price and then the type is a number and uh, non-zero because we don't want any uh, free products. Yes, yes, we are that money hungry. <laughs> anyway, once we're done, we're going to cre click create. And then you can do uh, anything you want. So you can create a new record and stuff like that. Now, the cool thing about this is that if you click on this API preview right here, it gives you some uh, JavaScript code snippets as well as Dart. So it supports like Flutter and... JavaScript, so if you're creating a, a Flutter application using Pocket Base, you can use that. In fact, these are the only two uh, SDKs that are available right now. But if you take a look at this right here, you have uh, a, a code snippet right here uh, for fetching paginated records. So essentially, 
this get list method will basically um, will fetch like 50 uh, pages per one, uh, I mean 50 records per one page. So this page one right here is like the first page, two is the second uh, page and so on and so forth with the assigned num number of records per page right here. Next we have the get full list which which as the name implies just gets all of the database uh, all of the fields inside inside your collection and then get first list item which gets the first uh, item inside the database and then you have the rest api endpoint uh, for getting all of these uh, records and then you have the same uh, snippets for viewing and then there is real-time support which is awesome so if you're devel developing a chat application or a multiplayer game this is uh, this is coming real handy right here and it says you can subscribe to a single record or an entire collection. Back here, uh, you notice that it says requires admin authorization token. And that's for a good reason. This uh, field, right, this uh, collection or database right here, uses some uh, API rules which are restricted only for admin. So all of these endpoints, uh, only the admin can uh, read them. If we click on this, Right here, uh, what we're gonna do is essentially say, hey, not only admins uh, can access it, well, clients clients will need it at some point. And then once you do, you click Save Changes, back to API Preview, and as you can see, this uh, requires header thing is gone, which means that anyone from this, um, any client will be able to make calls uh, from this, or anyone will be able to make uh, HTTP requests using this endpoint from the client the client side. And finally, if you go to settings right here, uh, there are some options right here. So you can see for, you have auth providers and you have a lot of them. Google, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, uh, Twitch, Live Chat, Spotify, Microsoft. There's a lot, <laughs> but I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna get into how to set it up just because we wanna keep it simple. So it's a simple username and password, but you can feel free to check out the docs at your own time and uh, take a look at these. And the best thing about it is that you can export the uh, schema right here as a JSON file. So you could use it inside any another uh, pocket-based uh, instance or create your own like JSON uh, schema. So you could you could show that um, you could document your um, your backend and stuff. And then you can also load another uh, schema, which is uh, another JSON file essentially. And yeah, that's about it right here. So pocket base is very versatile and very fun to use. So right now I'm gonna show you how to uh, run it locally. So if you click on this documentation right here, uh, and then right here you have uh, download options depending on your platform. So Linux, Windows, Mac OS, and Apple Silicon right here. I'm gonna choose Windows because this is the one I'm running. All right, we have pocket base right here. All I'm gonna do is double click to open it. Now, once you do open it, all you have to do is just take all of this and then extract it right here in the downloads folder wherever you choose really i'll move all this side of a new folder all right and there you go now in order now to run pocket base all you have to do is uh right click inside this uh folder and then open in uh now all you have to do is to run this is type in dot slash pocket base space and then serve hit enter and there you go. Your pocket base is now uh, running locally. Now, first, we're going to uh, open up the admin UI. So click here. And then during your uh, first initial setup right here, you have an email. You have to first enter email, password, and that. I'm going to type in anything right here because it's not going to send us a verification email. So it could be anything you want. And once you're done, you're going to click create and log in. Now, it does require uh, a minimum of 10 characters for the password. All right, we are now logged in. Now, if you click right here, you can uh, log out or manage administrators. You can change your email if you want to really, but I'm not gonna bother. And then application right here, you can change the name of your application right here, which is something you'd like, you most likely wanna do because Acme is just, uh, it's just a stupid name, honestly. And that is PocketBase. Next time, uh, we're going to start working with PocketBase inside a React project. So, so be sure to stay tuned for uh, new videos by subscribing to this channel and liking this video if you liked it. And see you 
next time.